Hi everybody and welcome back to the 2014 Insight Innovation Exchange brought to you by Greenbook and Gen2 Advisors, proudly supported by Research Now. My name is Ben Smithy, I am the CEO of Spike Market Analytics and today I am happy to be sitting down with Mr. Patricio Pagani, Executive Director of InfoTools. Patricio, thank you so much for taking the time My to be pleasure. here. My pleasure, thanks Ben. Insights, innovation, big data, analytics, visualization. They are one and the same right now within our industry. You know, so talk to me about innovation with, with regard to what you're doing at InfoTools and visualization and dashboarding and all of that. Well, innovation for us is very, very important part of what we do. We have, we're 150 in the company and, and 30 are dedicated just to do R&D. Mm -hmm. um, so we're working on the next, gener next generation of what our clients are going to be using uh, in the future. For us right now, uh, we're at crossroads. So we are migrating uh, the platforms. We are migrating from our old systems to everything on the cloud, online, using HTML5, mm -hmm. thin clients, um, which I guess are part of the challenges for, for everyone in our industry, make sure that they work across platforms, et cetera, et cetera. How do you make sure, you know, there's this big paradigm shift and it's more of like a vocal and perceptual paradigm shift that we're having to focus more on actionability of our insights and things like that now, right? So how are you helping clients to do that via InfoTools and what you're doing? Well, it's critical to every project to identify exactly what the business questions are, mm -hmm. why are you doing this and try to deliver uh, both the platform and the visuals that come out of the platform on, on mm -hmm. those business questions. So having a good idea of what are you try, uh, actually trying to resolve uh, will help you uh, resolve it better. So it's, it's critical. Those initial phases in the project are, are very critical. And, and coming up with the right way to twist and, and, and massage the mm -hmm. information so it can answer those questions. What is the future of data visualization and you know, telling the story behind data and telling the story behind analysis and reporting? What does that future look like? I think there's a lot of talk in the industry about automated ways to do that and we're all thinking and dreaming about <laughs> when that uh, is going to be a reality. I still think as an industry we have a way to go in terms of automating storytelling mm -hmm. and, and lots of challenges if, if we are ever going to, uh, going to do that. But at least if it's not fully automated, at least come up with systems that are quite responsive mm -hmm. to the story and that help analysts tell it in a, in a much easier way. I think that's an achievable goal to have mm -hmm. in the next couple of years. Uh, eventually automating storytelling in terms of getting to why things are happening would be, would be a dream. Excellent. What else do you think is, what other areas are you really bullish on when it comes to innovation within our industry? What's the next thing that's going to propel research and insights and intelligence up? Well, um, my paper talks about the integration of uh, big data, so behavioral data that most companies have in one form or the other mm -hmm. within their systems and integrating that in a much tighter way with the perception uh, study, so our traditional research. I think the benefits from, from tying those two together are a lot and something that we haven't explored enough and it, it's low hanging fruit for, for the mm -hmm. industry. So it's something that it's right there, we just need to do it and do it right. So on the other side, outside of the technology and the tools platforms, is the people, right? So when you look at the future of our industry, it's largely uh, a result of the people and the talent that we produce that comes into our industry. From a young researcher standpoint, from a student standpoint, uh, research programs all over the world in terms of universities are looking at this, this, this problem and what do we need to do? Not from a hard skills, but even from a soft skills, soft skills standpoint. What kind of personas, what kind of personalities do we need to be looking for? I, I think the, the industry has a big challenge to attract uh, talent and, and I'm, I'm, from, well, I'm from, originally from Argentina but I, I live and work in New Zealand and uh, work with the local market research society there and mm. we have a good connection with the universities and I think this is, this is critical. So for, for us as an industry to work together with the universities that are bringing up the talent and, and extract them from their usual pathways, which is, okay, I'll go into marketing because it's cooler and they, they're marketing so they know how to market themselves, right. we don't. Uh, to work with them at that stage, I think it's something that we need to do a lot more mm -hmm. of around, around the world. And in terms of skills that we require for, for them, uh, there's a lot around data science, which, which I think it's, it's definitely growing. Mm -hmm. 
but not coming from the universities as much as we would like to. Uh, and then just the basic skills of storytelling. I don't think that's a skill that you get taught at university, but it's critical to have someone that can interpret data and be able to tell a story grounded in the data. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's, that's really important for our industry. Excellent, I totally agree. Patricio, thank you so much for taking the right. time to be here. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of the conference. Thanks to you. You guys heard it here first at the 2014 Insights Innovation Exchange. You just heard from Executive Director of InfoTools, Mr. Patricio Pagani. Thanks and we'll see you next time.